Pythons. Oh, hey. GH Pythons is going to be What's filming up? here at the show. Yeah. Link down in the description for their channel so you can check it out and see yes. what these guys filming here at the show. All right. Mr. Bissell. What's up? I think I'm going to go get all the animal B roll I can right now. This is a $50, $60 snake. <laughs> How much is this one? I don't know. It's a Jackson's tree snake. It's an arboreal species from uh, Africa, Kenyan coastline. Uh, it's mildly venomous uh, in terms of it having rear fangs. It's rear fangs, so it's as close as you get to owning a boom sling legally. It's absolutely magnificent. Total intelligence in their eyes. Uh, problem solving skills like you wouldn't believe. Great iridescence color, as you can see on the scales, newly shed. Um, our good friend Spencer here, who's got a talent for these things, is holding them for us. But it's an absolutely beautiful species. Uh, brushing my hair over and over, over and over. <laughs> Riley holding down the fort for the usual, making things strong, making things good. We actually got we actually got some of Riley's and Travis's uh, animals on the table here at the show, because I had hardly anything, and then I figured these guys might as well. Get some of their stuff on here. Got a couple of the blood pythons Travis still has left from the pairing we did. And uh, yeah, should be fun, should be good, should be uh, should be excellent. Feeling good about it. Yes. That's what a true alapines looks like. The, the male alapines, he's the father of a lot of the high white alapines of the trade, but the, the chunky head is typical of what alapine males develop with age. Of course, you're recording me during all this time, right? What's that? I said, of course, you're recording me during all this time. Right? Oh, yes. Another feature at the top of the head of Vital Pines is that big white blotch here, so the white blotch on the top of the head. It's another feature of true Vital Pines. But, um, it's, they're the largest of the small island forms of, of New Caledonian geckos. Did you, guys, did you bring something? That's perfect, Philippe. Thank you, sir. So this is the only crested gecko with black eye morph. Really? Look at his eyes. Are you able to, uh, you want to take him out or you want to keep him in? Uh, it's up to you. If you, want, if you would take him out so I can get some close shots of him, yeah, that would be yeah, fantastic. Yeah. For sure. His name is Apocalypto. And it's a phenotype that I'm producing now. Um, he has a lot of brothers and sisters that look just like him. Initially, I thought they were like a Santic, but because it's not a recessive gene, it's not really an Asantic, but you'll see the color is like, it doesn't have like the yellows and the reds. You see how cool those eyes are? All right, let's see if I can keep it steady. Oh, right, he was good there, calling up your armies. That oh, was sorry. all right. It's okay. Beautiful man. Yeah. Thank you for thank Thanks. you for calling my attention to that. Well, of course, I figure you know I want to I want to brag about this guy because it's so unique. So. Yeah, for sure. So Since she made it all the way here to LA from the Too Slow Turtle Club, now all you folks down here in LA need to come up to our Too Slow Turtle Club chapter and attend one of the meetings and see what's going on. Right? Right. All right, guys, we got another man filming here, Gray's Reptiles, his daughter. We're going to put a link down in the description. You can find it down there. Check out what these guys are checking out at the show. It'll be much more than you're going to get to see on this channel. <laughs> Peace, everybody. I'm leaving my booth and Keenan's just like, here, take the pickle from me. I'm like, why? Cher <laughs> came over here to bring us an animal since we we're going to have a hard time leaving the booth to check out animals. Did us a huge favor. Got this beautiful yellow anaconda. That looks like it almost wants to be green, too. I don't know what's going on. But it is yellow. I 
They came over here to bring you snacks. I don't like you that much. This, this is not the same clip of Dave brushing his hair. This is a second brand new clip of Dave brushing his hair. So Dave is a... Uh, I'm sweating so much that my hair gets all the kakta, so yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like he's not slacking right now. I just, just for the record, we have edited out all of Dave's bald spots just for the purpose of this video alone. I don't have any bald spots, maybe here. Just look at this guy, he just looks depressed. I'm not depressed. Beat. I am so ecstatic to see all of these really awesome reptiles, really awesome reptile people that I have no emotion to portray any longer because I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> this, this guy has a channel, by the way. You guys can go down in the description. It's there. You can watch oh, his you. perspective on the show and, and check things out. And uh, it's actually his 150th video that he's filming on here. So it is. I, uh, he want, he's going to do a whole congratulations thing on his channel. and uh, 150 uploads. Right? Yep, yep. But it's not uploads. It's 150 episodes. 150 episodes, not just yeah. uploads. 150 because I've uploaded episodes. other stuff that I've later taken down. And I always, or, I always talk else. about how Dave's kind of a slacker, and I make fun of him for being a slacker and stuff. But, you know... But he's got 150 episodes up now, and it's been about how long? Now? Like seven years? Like eight, at, eight at years? least 25 years. 25 years? Yeah. And I, I'm looking at about something like uh, 700 video I put out, I think. I've been doing it for like three years, so. Yeah, slacking. <laughs> we got my man Jaron over here, has his channel Snake Royale TV. There will be a link down in the description. He's doing actually a really interesting interview with people around and asking about uh, for beginners in the hobby and how they can be successful at it. Definitely the, the first different perspective versus just going around filming the show. He's filming people at the show. I imagine you picked up some animals, obviously. So, again, link down in the description. Says she wants to take a picture. I don't know. The shirt is... Uh, <laughs> I feel like you should go take a picture with uh, with Jesse or something. Jesse, Jesse's, Jesse's... Oh, you already got a picture with Jesse. Okay, all right. I guess I'll take a picture with you then. <laughs> right, I got a question for you. Come here. I got a question for you. Is Miguel coming? <laughs> the question is, is Miguel coming? We want to know. Yeah, yeah. Leave a comment down below. Do you think Miguel's coming? What do you guys think this species is right here? We're trying to figure it out. She just picked it up. And uh, here at Triple B, we do try to find things out about things and do things with stuff and all that kind of uh, information that nice. we pass on to you folks so that we can sound real smart. Yeah. <laughs> Please help us. <laughs> so we've got to thank Sherry yet again for bringing us animals since we're really not able to leave the booth too often here. Uh, she brought some Madagascan legless lizards and the thing about them is they're not exactly a hundred percent legless. So where are those little legs? Is that you guys see that leg coming out right in the middle of the screen? That's a little leg. You guys are just legging it up. Little lion, tiny, tiny legged lizards. That's what we should call them. Tiny legged lizards. I'm doing a horrible job of maintaining focus right now. I think I'm just tired now. I need to give up on filming. You guys see these gentlemen here speaking with Nick? Tiki's Geckos. I'm gonna put the link down in the description for these guys' channel. They're gonna be filming around the show. You can check them out. They're going to do a really good job. I've seen their stuff before. They do a good job. Go check them out. My man here, the real Herb Hero. I'm going to put a link down in the description. As you guys know by now, link is going in the description. Yes, sir. Go check it out. He's going to be filming here at the show. Check out what he sees. He's going to see some more stuff from me. So check yeah. it out. No! Here you go. I won't put it on. There you go. No, I won't put it on. You don't know. You don't like me anymore. I know what's going on. It's all good. No, I don't. No, you don't have to talk to me ever again. It's not a problem. You don't even hear what I'm saying to you right now. It's all good. Yeah. It's. Is that okay? Stop! Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys have some good filming here? Or, yeah? No. No? Good filming? Yes. Zero. Frank, can I just see how heavy that it's is? Just nodding. Yeah, it's not that heavy. Oh shit. It's not heavy. compared to the other one. Oh, bro. That's... The other one, oh, that's the one I held. Is that the one that... <laughs> Could you talk for 10 minutes like that? That's why his forearm game's under out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when I was talking to Forrest at the last show, 
This By is so hard. <laughs> it's really heavy. Let me just set this down right here. Let's look. Yeah, Let's look down. All, right. All of these folks are back here are filming as well, and they're gonna get different perspectives than anybody else. So again, to repeat myself as I have been this entire video, links down in the descriptions for all these channels where you can see all kinds of different content and angles of the show. Was it bothering you in X Men? Oh, Brody! Brian Bodie's coming in there. Oh my gosh, everybody's in the Woo! shot. Woo! I don't like you it way drink too much. That out of a plastic yeah you don't remember i was oh, drinking no, out of I one of your bulb you, you're like look i paid money for this scotch glass and it's and that's why i have no other money and you drink out of plastic and you're highly successful mm. because of your ego yeah well the ego got mr uh, rami gurgis <laughs> of the reptile super show to sponsor us our drink this time around which is mccallan 18 which is actually one of my favorite and i think the best bang for your buck scotch is out there in my personal opinion it does happen to be no less than two hundred dollars everywhere than i've seen it i mean i think i may have found one for a, a he, buck 80 one he time. said this one was 300 think, bucks yeah they were down for this down bottle of scotch everything's more expensive down here in southern california and the only thing i know this scotch from is that i watched literally on the airplane ride on the way here from pittsburgh i watched a movie called molly's game which is about a girl who arranges like extremely high-end poker matches and this was something she was serving so you have me on the scotch radar now because of this stupid podcast and then i end up buying stuff look there's like. a there's a hologram on the cap so that when you cut it off you know that it's been broken even the outside plastic cap oh, that's the, crazy the plastic seal yeah see that? don't you blend my scotch that must be the mccallan household <laughs> it was pretty good for a guy like me Oh, they're kicking Saying everybody out. He's getting pissed. I'm not leaving. Oh, oh the, lights the lights are, are out. <laughs> the lights are out. Cheers. Cheers. Drinking in the night. I'm turning on our... We'll have our own personal light right here. I've got this cranked on. Ready?